You ever have those problems in your life that you just wish they'd go away? And do you realize later, it's really only a problem because I keep thinking about it, or it's really only a problem because I keep focusing on it, because if I didn't think about it, it really wouldn't even bother me, and I'm the only one it seems to bother. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast. I, you probably know this by now if you watch this podcast very often at all, but one of the rituals, if you will, that my wife and I have together, 25 years married this year, is that we get up every morning, whether we both have to be up or not. Unless one of us is sick, we get up, we go through the same ritual every morning together, we shower together, we spend time together, and we almost always will have something going on in the background in the form of music or a video or an audio file that we're listening to together because it gives us good, solid ground to have communication about. And a lot of times that will be learning. We'll listen to messages from teachers like John Maxwell or Joyce Meyer or uh, Brene Brown or, you know, the list goes on of, of different leadership teachings because we both are learners. But sometimes it's just comic relief. And so we'll listen to Jeff Foxworthy or, or someone like that, Michael Jr. Today it was Sinbad. And it's amazing to me when you listen to someone whose mind already looks at so many different things and looks at it from another direction. And just one little example from his, his bit, his routine, and I don't want to steal his material, but there's some genius in it that I think it applies to every human being. And it's, it's a, an observation about our habits and how we perceive things. Because perception is a choice. Dr. Caroline Leaf says, we have as human beings something that other creatures don't have. While they may emotionally react to things, a dog who's been beaten will have fear while a cat who's clever and finds his way around things can be retrained to do things differently, including use the toilet instead of a, a litter box or use the toilet instead of going outside. Uh, mice can be retrained in the maze to, to find the prize. Oh, we know all those things are possible, but the multiple perspective advantage is uniquely human. The ability to look at the same situation from different angles and perceive it differently multiple perspective advantage. That's uniquely human. So Sinbad is doing his routine and he has an audience of thousands of people and, and he says, you know what, I'm, I just want to help out you married folks. So uh, ladies, just tell me some of the things that make you angry about your man and in 13 seconds I'll solve them. And so he goes through several different scenarios and, and I'm laughing, I, most of them are hilarious and they're really nothing more than perspective. And then he gets to the one where the girl says, he's messy. He said, what do you mean he's messy? Let me guess. He's messy because he leaves things where he's done with them. And of course, the audience roars. They know exactly what he's talking about. He said, that's not a hard one. 13 second solution. Leave it there. And you hear this groan among the whole audience. He said, no, seriously, he took that shirt off and threw it down right there. I do that. I threw that shirt down right there. You don't have to worry about it. You lose your mind over that shirt laying on the floor. I think I'm leaving it there because I know where it'll be when I need it tomorrow. If I'm going to wear it again tomorrow, I walk past it. I just step over and keep going. You walk past it and have a meltdown. But it's a choice. Now, see, that, that moment of levity, the ability to look at something that Yesterday may have made your entire life come apart because he left his shirt on the floor again. It's not just in marriages. See, we have this tendency as human beings to think that that person who just made the right turn from the left lane did it just to make us mad because we were the car behind them. No, they probably didn't even know we were there. They just realized Siri saying south, not north, south, not north, south, not north. But that's the direction of the street, not the direction you're supposed to turn. And now they realize, I can't turn where I'm supposed to if I don't turn here now. And they don't want to miss the turn. It wasn't about you at all. But see, we take offense at so many things that other people do because our perspective is on ourselves. 
as leaders, as business owners, as drivers, as people standing in line at the coffee shop. We think it's all about us and we get offended when other people live their lives thinking it's all about them. I want to challenge you as leaders, as parents, as teachers, as fellow human beings on this planet, change your perspective from time to time. Maybe he did drop his shirt in the same place or his shoes in the same place for the 56th day in a row. Leave them there. Will it really mess up your life if you don't? Maybe just the ability to see things through somebody else's eyes could change the quality of your life and the level of your stress. It's called a multiple perspective advantage. It's uniquely yours. The ability to see what you saw yesterday, but see it a little differently. It's a choice. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Leading Leaders Podcast for Tell It Like It Is TV. Have a blessed day.